How's it going everyone? May the 4th be with you. I hope you are all having a good Star Wars day. And if you weren't, hopefully this video will help make it a little bit better. Just a little bit ago, it was announced by EA Star Wars that Jedi Fallen Order will be receiving a free update. And this update is live right now so you guys can jump in and play it. And this update actually adds a fairly decent amount of stuff that you can do. I'm actually pretty impressed with the amount of content that's in this. And this comes at the worst time for me because I just uninstalled this game like a couple days ago so I have to reinstall it again now uh, but I'm pretty excited for this this has a lot of stuff that the community has requested this update actually comes with a lot of stuff that I said would improve the game so that's pretty cool that they're actually listening to the feedback but let's just go ahead and go over everything that is in this update it says replay with unlocked cosmetics so a lot of people have been requesting for a new game plus mode and back at the game's launch the developers said that they did not like the idea of a new game plus mode they didn't think that it would work with this game because they just don't want you to have all the force powers unlocked before you're supposed to. And if you went into like the first or second mission and you had all your force powers, you would just completely dominate through the game. And that's just not the approach that they wanted to do. So now they're introducing this new game plus mode where you still get all those hard earned cosmetics that you unlocked. You just don't get your new force powers. That way you can just play through the entire game. You're not completely overpowered. You still have to go through and earn those force powers and stuff but you can still look cool in the process. So I think that's pretty neat. I might actually go back and replay the game now that I can keep all those cosmetics. And this sort of gives you a reason to, you know, go back and actually play the game again, which is something I thought this game definitely lacked was replayability. Uh, so I'm glad that they're making that change. And then it says combat challenges, which to me kind of looks like a horde mode. It's definitely advertised like it's some sort of horde mode, but there's just a bunch of different challenges and stuff where you can just select the map and each different map and stuff has a bunch of different challenges, kill certain amount of enemies, kill enemies without losing any health, just to give you a little bit something extra to test your combat skills, which I'm all for. This game has really good saber combat, so I think that'll be pretty cool to test out. But if that wasn't enough, you can actually craft your own challenges, which I think this part looks really promising. Based off of the image in the little trailer that they have, it looks like you can choose from some of the different bosses, and if that's the case, I think that's going to be so much fun. If I can customize like who my opponents are in the arena and I can have like multiple bosses at the same time to just really test my skills, or if I want to face like five or six purge troopers or an ATST and a boss or just mix and match, especially if you can have some AI teammates, which is what it kind of looks like, I think that opens up some pretty big possibilities. I'm all for this. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited to try this out on stream for you guys. And I think this could potentially add quite a few extra hours to this game with just customizing your own challenges and stuff. But that is not all. They're actually adding some extra cosmetics for your character Cal and for BD1. So if you guys want just a little bit more cosmetics to change the way you look, I know a lot of people don't like the fact that all you have in this game is ponchos, so hopefully they add at least something pretty cool looking. But one of the things I'm most excited for came at the very end of the trailer, and that is that you get to play with Inquisitor Cal. This dresses Cal up as an Inquisitor from one of the visions he had in the story mode. And then this also lets you play with red sabers, which is something that a lot of people requested. And that is going to look so cool with all the different saber customization options in this game. I am super stoked. I'm really excited to go back and play this again. I thought they were completely done with Fallen Order. I did not expect them to even touch this game. But it's nice to see that Respawn still actually cares and they're willing to update this game. Now, I don't know if there's any content that they might bring in the future again. I think this is what this game was lacking. And now that we're getting this and it's for absolutely free and it's coming on Star Wars Day, I think that's a huge win. This completely caught me off guard, especially with the announcement of Battlefront 2 coming to an end. This couldn't have come at a better time. So I'm super stoked. I'm going to be downloading this again and I will be streaming it for you guys here soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about this update down in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to follow me on Twitch at SwanyePlaysGamesLive and be sure to join the channel's Discord. Hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Be sure to check out another video and I will talk to you all in the next video. Will you join me? Accept your fate. I grow impatient.